Prayer to the Sacred Heart of Jesus O Most Holy Heart of Jesus, Fountain of every blessing, I adore you, I love you, and with lively sorrow for my sins, I offer you this poor heart of mine. Make me humble, patient, pure, and wholly obedient to your will. Grant, good Jesus, that I may live in you and for you. Protect me in the midst of danger. Comfort me in my afflictions. Give me health of body, assistance in my temporal needs, your blessings on all that I do, and the grace of a holy death. Amen. Glory and praise. 
My dear brothers and sisters, let us begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we commemorate the 36th uh, anniversary of the EDSA Revolution. And so for this Mass, we use the Mass for the preservation of peace and justice. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have revealed that peacemakers are to be called your children, grant we pray that we who work without ceasing to establish that justice, which alone ensures true and lasting peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. James. Do not complain, brothers and sisters, about one another, that you may not be judged. Behold, the judge is standing before the gates, Take as an example of hardship and patience, brothers and sisters, the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord. Indeed, we call blessed those who have persevered. You have heard of the perseverance of Job, and you have seen the purpose of the Lord, because the Lord is compassionate and merciful. But above all, my brothers and sisters, do not swear either by heaven or by earth or with any other oath. But let your yes mean yes, and your no mean no, that you may not incur condemnation. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord, the Lord is, is kind and merciful. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The Lord is kind and merciful. He pardons all your iniquities. He heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction. He crowns you with kindness and compassion. The Lord is kind and merciful. Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger and abounding in kindness. He will not always chide, nor does he keep his wrath forever. The Lord is kind and merciful. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so surpassing is his kindness toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he put 
our transgressions from us. The Lord is kind and merciful. Alleluia, alleluia. Your word, O Lord, is truth. Consecrate us in the truth. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came into the district of Judea and across the Jordan. Again crowds gathered around him, as was his custom. He again taught them. The Pharisees approached him and asked, Is it lawful for a husband to divorce his wife? They were testing him. He said to them in reply, What did Moses command you? They replied, Moses permitted a husband to write a bill of divorce and dismiss her. But Jesus told them, Because of the hardness of your hearts, he wrote this command, commandment. But from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, no human being must separate. In the house, the disciples again questioned Jesus about this. He said to them, Whoever divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery against her. And if she divorces her husband and marries another, she commits adultery. My dear brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, our two readings today teach on the value of perseverance and suffering on the one hand and on being truthful in what we say and in our commitments. The letter of James addresses the person who is quick to complain instead of enduring hardships and difficulties when they come. He cites the example of the prophets of old, what they had to endure in the task of speaking God's word. The person of Job is cited especially in his showing of perseverance and loss even if he believed he did not do anything wrong. But there is one more thing that the author underlines. The virtue of being truthful and honest in what we say without resorting to promises or oaths or swearing. I think the author just knows too well how easy those oaths and promises are broken in the actual state of affairs. All of this, of course, is very applicable to our everyday life. With all its share of sufferings and hardships, our daily life can really be a challenge, even for those who are materially blessed. It is natural to complain and even complain to God why we have to go through such trials and difficulties. But I think what the author is trying to address is when we make it a habit to complain at every instance of difficulty or problem, whereas it is also part of our growing in maturity and wisdom to accept and go through such hardships and to endure them, so that when even greater trials come, we become stronger and more ready to face them. On the issue of swearing and making promises again, the more admirable person is one who simply is honest in expressing what he or she truly feels or what he or she truly thinks, embellishing our responses with promises and oaths instead make our words less effective and more likely suspect. The elections are coming up and already we hear so many promises already being made. But will such words find fulfillment or bear fruit after May 9? On the other hand, we catch a glimpse 
at attempts to be more honest, more conservative, and realistic programs that may stand on the bedrock of the per that stand on the bedrock of the person's record of performances and day-to-day -day show of moral credibility. Perhaps the more truthful is the one simpler, humbler. This theme of fidelity or being true to our words is reflected in the gospel teaching where Jesus teaches about the sanctity of marriage. Since the presupposition is that those who decide to get married love and have accepted each other, how can they sev sever the sacred bond when trials come? Surely they know that married life is not a simply a bed of roses. Besides, marriage is a sacrament ordained by God and not a mere human contract. It mirrors God's faithful and unwavering love of Christ for the church, her bride. To be honest, in the case of my parents who made it up to 65 years of marriage before they finally left this world, there were occasional trials and challenges. I even remember how my mother told me that even as they were just engaged, there was a moment when the relationship seemed likely to be severed. But then the challenge was overcome and they finally got married. And within their 65 years of marriage, there were constant challenges especially because we were a big number of siblings versus the economic difficulty of the family. But through it all, my parents never gave up but hung on to the yes they had given to one another without being too dramatic about it. They simply focused on their responsibilities towards us and did all that they could to surmount every difficulty. Something like that is more than just a human enterprise or project. I believe it is made possible by faith, hope, and love in God and in one another. May the good Lord then give us the courage and strength to face challenges in our relationships with one another, especially that between husbands and wives, and indeed uh, between us and our country, knowing that God, the faithful one, is always there, always ready to help and sustain us. Amen. Let us now rise to offer our prayers. Husbands and wives share in God's creation of new life. Our intercessions today center around the needs of parents and children. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. That the church may become true to her vocation of defending the integrity of marriage and of the family, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That government leaders and legislators may enact laws and policies that build families rather than destroy them, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That families broken by divorce or separation may find support and understanding from people in their communities, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the examples of Mary and Joseph may give inspiration to families in living out their commitments, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That our deceased relatives and friends may enjoy the peace of God's eternal home, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those celebrating their birthdays, Vic Olaguerra, Risa Hontiveros, Father Robert Treyes, Father Jorge Anzorena of the Society of Jesus, Monsignor Pepe Quitorio, Ray Magno, Gabriel Magno, Camille Season, and Vernice Liao, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For the healing of Henry Tan, Alessandra J. Tan, Aga Camarata, and Emily Quaso, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the souls of Julio Villanueva, Cho Ortiz, Don Bautista, victims of martial law and extrajudicial killings, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special intentions of Choco and Agnes Quaso 
Enrico and Diana Moses Geld on their wedding anniversaries, Chris Castillo, Marivic Magno, and the people of Ukraine, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions sent to our Facebook pages at JESCOM and Radio Katipunan, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. God of love, you created us male and female to continue your work of creation. May our love for one another reflect your indwelling presence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters, pray now that this, our sacrifice, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for good and the good of all his holy church. May the saving sacrifice of your Son, the King of Peace, offered under sacramental signs that signify peace and unity, strengthen, we pray, O Lord, conquered among all your children, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And may this peace of the risen Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's now offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace be everyone. With you. Peace. Peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins, sins of, the of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. My dear brothers and sisters, behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed are we have been invited to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I am not, not worthy, worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen.
Peace I live with you, my peace I give you, says the Lord. Let us pray. Bestow on us, we pray, O Lord, the spirit of charity, so that, sustained by the body and blood of your only begotten Son, we may be effective in nurturing among all the peace that he has left us, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is now completed. Let us go in the peace and the joy of Christ. Thanks be to God. Good morning to all. Thank you.